So last year at this time, I filmed a jewelry collection and at the time, our apartment was completely different. We had this dresser in the middle of our living room and that is where I had all of my jewelry living and since then much has changed. My jewelry no longer lives in the living room. Now it's in the bedroom, which makes a lot more sense when I'm getting ready in the morning. And I feel like since then, I've really streamlined my jewelry collection. I've been wearing more and more of the same pieces over and over again. It's one of my most frequently asked questions to do an update dated like favorite pieces of jewelry. So that's what I wanted to do for you today. I'm gonna to be taking you through how I store my jewelry, but also just show you a few of my most worn and most favorite pieces to put a name to the face, the, the pieces that most frequent my YouTube videos and my Instagram photos, the ones you see most frequently on my ball day. And that's pretty much that. So it's definitely no secret that I am a gold loving gal. All of the jewelry in my collection is gold. I can't even remember the time in my in my old life when I only wore silver jewelry. That is a foreign, foreign time for me now. But all of my jewelry is gold. And when I'm going to make a gold purchase, I've been trying to pay more attention into how it's actually made. From what I've gathered in my jewelry shopping experience, there are four different versions of gold jewelry that you can buy. The cheapest being the gold plated jewelry, which is taking a kind of cheaper metal and putting a really thin plating of gold around it. And those are the pieces of jewelry that are going to tarnish the easiest. I have at this point gotten rid of almost all of my tarnished jewelry. I've passed them off to friends and family. If they've rusted beyond belief, I've just said sayonara. And I've gotten really frustrated with how many times I've repurchased some gold plated items in my past. So I've been trying my best to stay away from gold plated as much as possible. The next two levels are gold vermeil and gold filled. And gold vermeil is that same thin coating of gold around sterling silver. So it's still considered like a fine piece of jewelry, maybe. The chances of it tarnishing are a lot less, but then you can go up a level to gold filled jewelry, which has a really, really thick plating of gold around it. And that one's not gonna tarnish. I have a few pieces that are both gold filled and gold vermeil that I've had really Really good luck with that haven't tarnished and I've had for years. Some of my most favorite pieces. And then because it's not entirely gold, you are getting a big reduction in that price point, which is great. For the most part, if I'm buying a favorite piece of jewelry that I know I'm gonna wear and love for years, I definitely just try to get it solid gold. But solid gold is really expensive and it is definitely considered an investment when you're doing so. So making sure that it's a, a piece that will last with time, unless you just won the lottery and you're balling, you know, buy whatever you want. <laughs> but I've just been trying to pay more attention to the metals that I am purchasing. And I do wanna note that I have a few pieces that are gold plated that haven't tarnished. I don't know what's gonna happen in the future. Now, before we get into the actual collection and what's in my fun little drawer here, I did wanna note two pieces that I am currently wearing. I didn't put any other jewelry on because I wanted to show you how it all sits when it's all stored, but there are two things that I wear that I just haven't taken off since I've put it on my body. The first being my little zapped on dainty gold bracelet here. This is a solid gold bracelet from Leah Alexandra and they actually have a really cool machine that just like zaps it on and it's on your wrist permanently until you cut it off. And I get a lot of questions from you guys asking about this, asking about the comforts of it, how I feel, has it affected me or annoyed me in any way? And honestly, it's loosened up a little bit. It doesn't bother me at all. It's really strong. It doesn't get in the way when I'm doing any kind of exercise or playing sports, playing tennis, whatever. And I just think it's so beautiful and dainty. And most of the time I wear my watch and my bracelets on my left hand. So just having this little touch, this little addition on my right hand, I just love it so much. And obviously that does not come off my body. It is zapped on. <laughs> and another thing I wanted to note that I've slowly moved into is I've been wearing a lot less earrings. I used to be such an earring gal. And I found that when I had my my short hair specifically, like my little bob and then my lob, earrings just looked so good. And since my hair has gotten back to a, a longer state, I really just haven't been playing with earrings as much. I have three little mini hoops from Majuri. I have the bold hoop, the mini hoop, and then a diamond filled mini hoop. And they were a pain in the butt to get on. It was really hard for me to do it by myself, but once I got them on, however many months ago that is now, I haven't taken them out. They are solid gold, so they don't irritate my ears at all. I have really sensitive ears and can't wear a lot of earrings in my ears without them getting infected and painful. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to note that since I got these and put these in my ears, 
I have not taken them out. They're just, they're here to stay. And uh, I love not having to think about it. They're super comfortable. They don't bother me in any sense. And I don't take them out of my ears. So those are the pieces that remain on my body. So let's dive into where I keep my jewelry now. So this is where the jewelry collection lives these days. This is my West Elm side table. And I keep all my jewelry on the bottom drawer here, which it just, it just makes me so happy every time I open it. It's so pretty. But the Muji inserts that I have are the same that I had last year. They're these lovely little velvet coated inserts and they're so perfect to store all of your jewelry and it's like they were made to fit in this drawer. They fit so perfectly snug in here and it's home to all of my jewels. I've got my necklaces on the left, earrings here on the bottom in this cute little cubed insert. I've got miscellaneous, larger, more fun earrings. And then I've got my bracelet section and then my rings are here on the right. So I'm going to start with the necklaces. Necklaces and layering necklaces is definitely something I've become a lot more comfortable with. I love my go-to layers. I keep my favorites in this little top insert and then I have more on the bottom as well. But I'll walk you through a few of my favorites. I definitely have my go-to stack, depending on how I'm feeling, but the daily stack always includes this piece from Leah Alexandra. This is the Mayan necklace. It's got this gorgeous little Mayan pendant, and she actually has a lot of her jewelry in both gold-plated and the fine versions. I have this in the fine version. It's so stunning, and she actually put an extender on it to make the necklace longer, which is perfect when I'm doing my stacks, and this is the one. I love it. It's my favorite necklace, and I wear it almost every single day. And if I'm feeling like having a bit of a more fancy feel, more dainty stack, then I will pair it with the herringbone necklace from Leah Alexander. This is also part of her fine collection and it's just this gorgeous really thin flat laying metal I love it so much and that with the pendant necklace just looks really beautiful together If I want to add a little bit more punch to my stack, I'll put this necklace from Masoma This is part of their twisted collection. Sometimes I layer all three But most of the time it'll just be one with the pendant one or the other and this is actually the one exception I wanted to mention this is a gold plated necklace, but it's really held up. Well, it feels really heavy and nice and it just hasn't gotten any of that like rusty tarnished feeling it still feels smooth and beautiful and I also have the matching bracelet to go with it so I've been wearing that one so much I love stacking those three necklaces together specifically for some more like fun more bold necklaces I have this one from Jenny Bird I love the clasp it's got this really big like circle clasp to it it's super fun and it's almost a choker which makes it seems a little bit more scandalous. <laughs> and then I also have this necklace. Um, I bought this when Zara came out with a collection and I feel bad every time I wear it because I'm pretty sure it's not available at all across the board, but I thought the clasp was really unique and I love the hanging pendant and I definitely wore that a lot when I first got it. And it's super cute. I really like the style. So those are kind of my favorite necklaces. I have a few others in there, just some other various gold chains. I clearly have a type when it comes to necklaces. But let's move on to another section. I'm just gonna skip right over the earrings. We've already we've already mentioned that but I wanted to mention this little cute poof that I have here This is actually the new Packaging that Leah Alexandra has been using but I actually use it when I travel or when we travel <laughs> It's this really adorable velvet little jewelry holder I call it the poof, but I love the pink color. It's so cute. And I keep that in there for when I'm storing my jewelry when I travel. And right beside it are my bracelets. And I actually also keep my watch strap in here. I mainly, on a daily basis, wear my little silicone exercise strap on my Apple Watch, but I also have the stainless steel strap. And I bought them both at the Apple store. This one is just like a cool little magnet it sticks to, but it just looks a little bit more classy and sassy. And I've really been into like giant bracelet stacking. And this is kind of the strap I go to whenever I want to wear my more fancy bracelet stack. So I'll put this on and then put as many gold bracelets on top of it as possible. So that's why they kind of live together in my jewelry collection. So this is the bracelet stack here. If I had it my way, I'd wear all of them at the same time every single day. But these are definitely my favorites. The majority of them being Leah Alexandra. These cuffs on the left here, I've had for years. The one on the left, the grand cuff, I've had for years. 
I love cuffs, they're so easy to wear and I just love to stack them up. In the middle here are the latest and greatest from Lisa Goslin. I think these are really fun. I don't even know what you'd call these. I'm just gonna call it like a chunky cube bracelet, but they're super fun and I have a larger one and a smaller one. This one here is another cuff with these cute little balls. It's from David Yerman. This was the gift from them, which was really nice because I'm such a such a David Yerman fan. The rings are my favorite, so I was really excited to add this to my little um, gold bracelet stack and I think it's really cool and unique and it's twisty and speaking of twisty the one next to it is the matching bracelet to the Misoma twisted collection necklace I like the little dangly it looks like a shark tooth <laughs> it's a super fun bracelet I really like it and then the final one is my favorite like link chain bracelet from Leah Alexandra as well and I actually really love her clasps it's a lot easier to put these on when you're by yourself you don't have someone helping you because you can just slide it on instead of trying to do like a full clasp on yourself that makes it very easy very genius little thing there and those are all of my my gold bracelets that I stacked together so the final section is the rings, my personal favorite section. So not much has changed in the ring department. If you want to see the entire collection, you can check out the video from last year, but I will definitely show you a few of the pieces that are new to my collection. One of them being all of the Lisa Goslan rings. She launched her brand back in August and I'm almost 99.9% .9 certain that I was her first customer and I am so obsessed with these. They are solid gold rings, but they're actually made with cubic zirconias. You can get them custom made with diamonds if you want, if you fancy like that. This one is definitely my favorite of the bunch. I'm just gonna go on a limb and say that this is my favorite ring to have ever existed. I love everything about the shape of this. I wear it so much. I'll wear it on my pointer finger like this and then I stack up my, my next ring that I'm gonna get to. But Lisa Goslin, she's a local lady here in Toronto and their pieces are just incredible. I love them so much, but this one is definitely near and dear to my heart. So the next piece is what I actually stack with it. This is the chain ring from Majuri and I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know if I could choose between my two favorites of these. I wear them together and the chain ring is so comfortable. I don't know how how the science works, but I can do anything. Like I can go to the gym, any kind of movement. It doesn't budge. It fits my finger perfectly and it's just so comfortable and I think it's such a unique ring. I just love it so much and those are definitely two additions to my ring world that have have made a punch and I love I love this little stack on my pointer finger I, I always go for this the other notable change I suppose that I've done is I used to wear my signet sig signet 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 ring <laughs> the little pinky ring I used to wear all the time but I actually got a new pinky ring from Majuri and it's a little bit thinner and more round I really like the look of it I find it a bit more dainty than the classic pinky ring look if you will I just think it's really cool. I really like it. And honestly, like lately, I've been wearing four rings, which is a lot less for me. I've been doing this little stack here on the pointer finger. I've been putting my little, little Cartier love ring on the, the ring finger on my right hand and my little Majuri pinky ring. And that's kind of the, the setup that I've been wearing on a daily basis when it comes to my rings. And that's it for the, the ring stack. And that, my friends, finishes the jewelry collection. So guys, that is it for this video. That is my little jewelry collection overview, where I store it, some points that I like to follow when I'm shopping for new jewelry, and also a little tour of some of my favorite and most worn pieces that I have in my collection. So I definitely want to hear from you guys. Let me know what your favorite jewelry brands are to shop. Let me know what some of your favorite pieces are. And I hope you enjoyed taking a peek inside my collection. I will link all the products that I've mentioned in the description box down below. I also have a few discount codes if you wanted to save some dollars in your shopping definitely check the description box for all of that information you guys thank you so much as always for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow for a new video bye